Parents, I cannot believe it, but it is true. It is the time of year to talk about class placements for the 2018-19 school year. Whew, man, this year just flew by. What a cool year we had this year. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next year. But we do have a specific process on how we place students into groups for classes and then how those teachers are matched up for the upcoming school year. It's pretty similar to how it's been in the past, but you may or may not have known how we've done it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of how we do it and then a little bit if you want to uh, provide any input for your child's placement. So a little bit about how we do it. One, all the teachers get together and they uh, are provided with placement cards for students, for each of our students that are staying here next year. If we know of any students that are moving or, or won't be here for the next school year, um, but we take those out and then they ultimately reorganize the whole grade level into the new classes for the upcoming school year. So if we have five classrooms in fifth grade, or uh, I'm sorry, if we have five classrooms in first grade, then we have five in second grade so that we reorganize the first grade into five new classrooms. And we use these cards, this is pretty standard across the county, is uh, we use these cards to make sure that our classrooms are balanced. That's really important so that we have um, an equal distribution of abilities, ethnicities, gender, um, all of that so that you have an even and similar experience, a learning experience in all of our classrooms. So we don't have some classrooms that are really more of this or more of that. They're pretty similar across the board. Um, and that's what the teachers do. So they meet, uh, they know students best, besides you guys, of course, and they create these groupings. They separate students who may need to be separated. They put students together who may need to be together and they don't assign teachers, they just put the groupings in. Once they do that, um, they give them to me, and I'm there, but they give them to me, and then I take the groupings of the stacks of papers, um, half, for, half for pink, half for blue, and we take those in, and then I actually just hold on to them for a while. And uh, as students are coming in through the summer, we add in students into those groupings once they register for our school during the summertime. Um, once we get towards the end of summertime, and I feel like we have a good amount of students into those that we think we're going to have, I then assign the teachers into those groups. So I, I take this really seriously and I make sure that we, uh, we, we take the needs of the group, the needs of individual students, and then we match those teachers up to those groups. If I feel that any changes need to be made based on that, I'll do that. I also, and this is where you guys come in, is I also take parent input and potentially make some changes if that wasn't already done when the teachers uh, arranged classrooms. Usually the parent input I get pretty much matches what the teachers had already planned on doing um, because you guys are really aligned together uh, really well with your conversations throughout the year. But in the past, I've taken input all the time, but I've never, I don't know that maybe I've used a form or not, but this year I'm putting out a form. If you would like to use it, I'm going to post it on the website. I'll email it home. You do not have to use it, but if you want to, you can. So it looks like this. You can type, you can handwrite anything you need to do, send it back to me. You can email it back to me at my email, so J-A-C-K-S-A-M at pwcs.edu, um, or you can just send it in with your child or however you want to get back to school. It talks about the strengths, needs uh, of your child, what's worked well maybe in the past, and any other information you'd like to share. Uh, whatever you want to get to me is fine. Uh, please do not give me a teacher name. It puts me in a weird bind. If I have a teacher name and then I give you that teacher, well, then I have to give everyone who requests a teacher that teacher, which we have 800 some students. We can't do that. If I don't give you the teacher that you want, well, then I feel bad and I don't want that to happen either. So don't tell me a teacher name. Usually it works out just fine um, as far as you know what you what you think is needs your child and what we end up placing. Uh, with that teacher, so don't give me a teacher name, but otherwise feel free to give me any information you want, and I promise you, I have my evidence, this is it. So this is, a, a, I think just last year, a big binder of all the different ways that parents have given me input in the past. I, I go through every single one and check off every little detail to make sure that we try to match up the best place that we can. We're not perfect, definitely not, but we do try, and we do value your input. It matters to us. We try to match our motto that we do, you know, together we soar higher and uh, you know your child so well. And so that is important information for us. So uh, if you choose to, you can fill out the form. You do not have to. Um, and then uh, we'll take all that in. So we'll be doing placement groupings now. And then over the summer, I'll be doing the teacher matches. And then we will notify parents mid-August about the exact teacher-student match uh, through our normal postcard process. 
Um, and we wait that long because we have so many students that register all the way through August on the placement. So otherwise, if you have any questions, message me down below here in this if it's for the good of the group. If it's a specific thing for your child, uh, feel free to email me or send me a note otherwise. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for all your support and uh, hopefully this is a little bit informative for you and uh, gives you an opportunity to also provide input if you'd like to. So otherwise, have a great day and enjoy this nice hot weather.